Hello everyone, my name is Greg and I dev stuff. Welcome everyone to episode 23 of Tactics Game and Unity, Elevation and Status Panel. Severe Elevation Difference Limit. We have an elevation on our map, but it doesn't affect the movement of the character on the map. Our character can climb any elevation level without any problem like this. So we want to take into account the elevation when we are moving around. Open Pathfinding. Inside Calculate Walkable Nodes, we need to take into account the elevation. So go and create a new method on our grid map called Check Elevation. We need to pass our position of the node we are moving from. And to the node we are moving towards. And this method return false means we can't move into this node because of severe elevation difference. So call continue. Create a new method and open it. Inside we need to get the elevation of node we are moving from and elevation of the node we are moving into. Now we need uh, to calculate the elevation difference between these two points. Subtract the elevation of the node we are moving out from the elevation of the node we are moving in. We have elevation difference now. So let's compare it against a new parameter called character climb. The higher this number, the higher the elevation our character can climb or descend. Turn the elevation difference in absolute number. This will allow us to make comparison even if the number is negative, meaning the slope is descending down. Then check if character climb is bigger than elevation difference. Good. As you can see, steep slopes can't be climbed, but lower slopes can be. You need to make sure to design the map around this feature. Like if you have similar looking cube with very steep descent, you should avoid using it in places where you expect your character to be able to climb on top of it or climb down. So make it tall enough. Even if, for example, in this case, you can see that the cube is very steep, but character can already climb it. You better to shape your map to accommodate the possibility of climbing this slope by either making it into a natural hill or introducing some kind of structure like ladder. 
so the climb would look more natural. This appears to support to you by generous support of people on Patreon and members on YouTube. If you want to join them, link to my Patreon in the description and join button available right now on YouTube. Let's start making status panel which will show you the stats of the character. So when you hover over the character, you want to show a panel with characteristics of the character. Create panel for status panel. Create text for character name. Create and add a new component to the game manager called status panel. Open the newly created script. We already have system in place for detecting hover over character, so cache it. Now, when we hover over the character, we want to show the status panel. Otherwise, if there is no character, we want to hide it. Use is active bool variable. If is active is false, we check if hover over character is not null, meaning there is someone we are hovering over. This means we should show the panel. If active is true, meaning we are already showing status panel for someone, we are checking if hover over character is null, meaning we moved our mouse somewhere else to a different position and we are not hovering over anyone anymore. And we don't need to show the panel anymore. This should be enough to show and hide the panel. In the editor, reference status panel and hide the panel. Good. So now let's show name of the character on the screen. So create and call a new method called update status. When you show the panel, Inside, use ho hover over character to get his name and display it on the screen. This should be enough to dis display character name. Now 
that change the name of the second girl warrior. There is an issue, that our character status is not updating if they stand close enough. If we switch between characters like this, uh, the characters who is adjusted to each other, the status panel is not updating. This is happening because we are updating our panel only the moment we show it to the player. So when uh, the two characters stand adjusted to each other, we are not re-showing the panel to the player once again. And because of that, it's not updating the status of the panel. So to make it work, we need to check if the character we are currently hovering over is not the same character we showed the status panel for. So save the reference to the character we are currently hovering over. When status panel is active, check if the character we are hovering over is not the same as we keep referencing in status panel. Then update the reference to the current character status we're showing and update the status panel. Let's test this. To avoid this error, return out of the executions. Ok, let's test this. Good, this is it for this episode. If you have any questions or any ideas about code, please leave your comment below. If you want to support further, link to my Patreon in the description. Special thank you to this old hash do for his generous support. With best regards, see you in the next episode.